everyone it's me i hope that you all are being safe taking the necessary precautions that you need to take and um, doing everything you need to do to protect yourself protect your family um, and protect the people around you and just making sure that you do everything you need to do to get through this time that we all are going through in our country, in our state, in our city. Um, I know for me, every morning I wake up to work out. And so for you all that like to get that workout in, no matter if it's in the morning or in the evening, normally you have a schedule. And instead of you going to the gym, because gyms are shut down, um, for the most part, um, I had to go ahead and take out those workout them home workout videos <laughs> that i haven't touched in years um after i had my son i had got the insanity video and i got the brazilian butt lift video so you know i had to go into my closet and dust them off you know <laughs> and then um i've been using those and they're actually a really good workout so i'm still able to get my workout in so it's all about a matter of adjusting and today i wanted to talk to you guys about planning you know planning is a very very um important part of life itself um when you make a plan you are telling your day okay this is what i'm doing with you you know you're not going about and anything is happening to you and then by the end of the 24 hours that you are blessed to have you're like what did i do with my time instead you're telling time okay this is what i'm gonna do with you and this is what's gonna happen plans can change just like nobody expected um this situation with the coronavirus to happen but if you have a plan, you're able to adjust some things and then, you know, continue to move forward. But if you don't have a plan, then you can go into panic mode and then you just don't know what to do. So um, making a plan, having a plan is very important. Um, how you can start to make a plan is that start writing ideas down. I mean, anything that comes to your mind, all the ideas that you can think of at that point in time, take about, honestly, humbly, take about 30 minutes to an hour. If you don't have an hour, take at least 30 minutes to yourself, go somewhere quiet, and write down all of your ideas, all of your things that you want to do, you know, and then out of those ideas, um, find the ones that are most sustainable, the most that um, that you know that you can do right at this moment, and find the ones that um, are long term. And each one of those um, ideas, you break them down into sections of how you're going to accomplish each one of those ideas. You know, you make small goals and then you make longer goals you know that is how you get to the ultimate goals that you are trying to reach by planning each step now again the best thing about plans is that you have an outline of what you're going to do you know and plans always change and that's why you need to adjust so having a plan itself does give you that direction of where you're going to go and just like life itself um, things happen things are unexpected and you just okay i'm going to adjust this way or i'm going to adjust this way and then you continue to press forward but planning is very 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 important if you look at any successful person i mean any successful person they will tell you, you have to make a plan. You have to have a plan. And I know a lot of people um, may get overwhelmed because they'll have this huge goal. For instance, oh, I want to make a million dollars. Okay. You can make a million dollars. But how are you going to get there? 
you know, and that's when the plan is initiated or I need a thousand dollars. Okay. How are you going to get to those thousand dollars? And that's when that plan needs to be written down and initiated. So you have an ultimate goal, but if you don't have a plan, then it's just a dream. It's just a fairy tale. It's just something that you thought of and then you're going to forget. Write everything down. When you make plans, write everything down. Never trust your memory. Never trust your memory. Because when you're given that seed, it needs to be planted somewhere. And in order for it to be planted, you have to be able to write it down so you can remember and you can go back to it. If you don't write it down, then... Sometimes you can have these thoughts in your head and you're like, man, that's a great plan. And then you're like, okay, I need to remember that. And then life happens. Things happen. You're doing things. You're going places. And then you go back and you're like, dang, I had such a great idea and now I don't remember it. That's why you need to write it down. So um, carry a notebook with you. You know, it doesn't have to be this really big notebook or it could be um, some sticky notes. Carry something with you, a pen, a paper, and write everything down and then go from there. So you can always revert back to it and be able to go back to what your thoughts were. But number one of achieving any goal in life is to make a plan itself. So I hope that this was helpful to you all. And I didn't say it in any specific way, but I was just throwing some thoughts out there to you, some ideas out there, and I hope it helps someone to be able to move forward to the dreams and the goals that they want to make reality. Again, I pray you all are safe for you and your families, and I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.